Don't you want me like I want you, baby? Don't you need me like I need you now? The first one is UVR5. You can find its installer on the official website. The link to the official website will be provided below the video. It won't be shown here in detail. Currently, UVR has been updated to version 5.6, which is the version being used today. Download and install it. First, upload the audio file you want to process here. Next, choose the folder where you want the processed file to be saved. You can select from three output formats, an MP3 is the most commonly used. Now, pick a processing method. I highly recommend the Demux method. Select the Demux model, specifically V for 8 Demux. For the segment option, you can keep the default or set it to 30, as I've done. In this demo, I'll show you how to isolate the drums in a song. So, choose the drum stem. Make sure to check the box for GPU conversion. Then, select drum only. Once you've set everything up, Click Start Processing. The processing time will depend on the length of the audio and your computer's performance. When you see Process Complete, it's done. Next, go back to the Select Output section and click the folder icon. You'll find your processed MP3 file in this folder. If you need to isolate the vocals or instrumentals separately, you can use these two images as a guide for your settings. Now, let's move on to Audacity, and I'll also leave the link in the video description below. Install and launch the program. In the top menu, go to the Effect tab and select Special. Here, you'll see only for special audio effects. So, we need to install an additional plugin, Vocal Reduction and Isolation. Here's how to get it. Search for Audacity Vocal Reduction and Isolation. Click the link provided by the official website. On the yellow section of the page, you'll see the link to the plugin. Click here to go to the plugin page. Download the plugin and save it to your desktop or another location you easily remember. Now, how do you add the plugin to Audacity? Open your file explorer. Follow the instructions in the bottom right corner of the website to choose the correct system version and navigate to the right file folder. Drag the plugin you just downloaded into that folder or paste it there. Once that's done, reopen Audacity to check if the plugin has been successfully installed. Go back to the Effect tab and under Special, you'll now see the Vocal Reduction and Isolation plugin listed. Click on it, and you can choose an action and adjust the settings as needed. It may take some trial and error to get the right effect, but you can click Preview to hear the changes before applying them. Once you're happy with the preview, click Apply, and the audio will be separated accordingly. If you find the previous two software options a bit complicated to understand or use, I'd recommend trying the simplest audio separation tool, Hit Poor Video Converter. Let's see how it works. Download and launch the software. You'll find the vocal remover option in the audio tab of the toolbox. Just click on it. Upload the file you want to process. It will automatically analyze the track. After that, the song will be split into two separate tracks, the vocal track and the music track. If you're happy with the results, you can export them with just one click. And that's all for today's video. If this helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.